until he filed paternity when Grayson was six months old and got 50% joint custody. I was in an ongoing battle to protect my son despite years of evidence, including death threats, degrading texts, violations of our signed agreements, refusals to pay for school activities, refusal to agree on anything, and then finally, cyber stalking and placing tracking devices on my car, which I also found and reported to my local police department for evidence. Apparently he'd been tracking my every move for months. Knowing that I had to do something because the threats were escalating out of control the day before Grayson was murdered, I went down to the courthouse to file a domestic violence injunction, which could have saved Gray's, Gray's life. Two hours after filing the injunction, it was denied, stating that the threats were directed to me and not my child, and that there simply wasn't enough evidence. Even though I provided a 250 page document and I wrote in big letters that I fear for my life, but I, most of all, I fear for my sons. 